So this is a ZF2060. It's a heavier version of the 2045. 2045 comes out on the 7210, 7410. 2060 come out on the 7510. So while we dog on the ZF for being a bad axle, the 2045 is really just a under-classed axle. When the 7510 was uh, released or came out, it was dubbed a loader-ready or loader-approved tractor, so it got a heavier axle. We don't sell parts for this particular track, this particular axle. So if we don't sell parts, that makes it a good option as a replacement or an upgrade. So 2045, 7210s, 74 tens. This would be our first level upgrade. We just sold two of these back to back. One's going to California, one's going to Virginia. Uh, they sell for 15,000 exchange. We do take your eight boat wheel back or eight boat axle back. So we swap out the center dish on the wheel if for some reason we can't match up the center dish, then we just swap out rim and center. You do have to do that. There's not any other uh, changes to direct fit. What goes bad on these is the bushings are not, or the, there's no grease fittings here. So if you're doing a repair, we would suggest that you spend the time with the machine shop to do that. Second failure, pinion bearing goes bad and it blows out that housing and you can't machine it. So if we don't have this as our first level option, then the second level option would be go to a John Deere three piece. Then we've got John Deere two piece. And then we can jump into the uh, 6M, 6R or the 70, 20, 70, 30 series axles, Dana axles. So we got lots of options, but they're all expensive. But you can't get parts for the 2045, so. It's kind of the only option we have for you.